In today's video, I'll be discussing the most dangerous animals in Massachusetts. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Number 1. Coyotes The eastern coyote is quite common in Massachusetts. If you've lived in the state for any extended period of time, chances are you've seen one. These mid-sized predators can thrive in urban, suburban, and rural environments. Some coyotes can also be carrying the rabies virus, which can cause them to act irrational and attack out of nowhere. Although many people in Massachusetts are fearful of these dog-like creatures, they are an important part of the state's ecosystem. Again, keep a watchful eye on small pets and children because coyotes are cunning creatures and are always on the hunt. Number 2. Black Bears Black bears mostly inhabit the western part of Massachusetts and have a rough population of 4,500 in the state. Female black bears weigh anywhere from 100 to 400 pounds, while male black bears can weigh anywhere from 130 to 600 pounds. Black bears are considered omnivores, which means they eat both plants and meat. Although black bears are not known for unprovoked attacks, they will use force to defend their young or if they perceive any danger. These bears possess extremely sharp claws and also have a very strong bite force. In order to avoid any unwanted interactions with bears, be sure not to leave any potential food sources outside, such as leaving the garbage barrels out overnight. If you come across a black bear while taking a hike or walking in the woods, walk in the other direction. If you believe one of these animals is going to attack you, make as many loud noises as possible in order to dissuade the bear. Before we get into the next dangerous animal, check out my online shop. I make products that are tailored to different cities and states in the USA. These include coffee mugs, candles, hoodies, t-shirts, and iPhone cases. I don't make any money from YouTube right now, so if you want to support me, check out the shop. Thank you very much. Number 3. Snakes There are two types of venomous snakes in Massachusetts to watch out for. These include the timber rattlesnake and the eastern copperhead. The eastern copperhead is very rare in Massachusetts, but they are still out there. Snakes tend to inhabit wooded areas and swamps throughout Massachusetts. The eastern copperhead is a surprise hunter, which means it situates itself in certain covered areas waiting for prey to walk by. Luckily for anyone living in Massachusetts, this snake's bite typically contains low potency venom. However, young children and elderly people are at much higher risk for a potential fatality. The other type of venomous snake in Massachusetts is the timber rattlesnake. These snakes can be found in lowland thickets, forests, areas around rivers and floodplains, and any tall grassy areas. Timber rattlesnakes are perhaps the most dangerous animal in Massachusetts due to their large size and the amount of venom that comes from their bites. Similarly to the eastern copperhead, these snakes are ambush predators. Luckily, these rattlesnakes will give a warning with their rattle if you get too close. They also tend to take a defensive stance before striking which gives people time to step away. Although both of these species of snakes are endangered in Massachusetts, they are indeed out there. Number four, the black widow. Black widows can easily be recognized by the hourglass shaping on their back. These arachnids are known to possess venom that can be 15 times stronger than that of a rattlesnake. Fortunately for the people of Massachusetts, these spiders are not aggressive and will only attack if disturbed or provoked. Symptoms of a black widow bite include chills, fever, nausea, vomiting, extreme pain, and also swelling of the contact area. Children and the elderly are especially at risk of potential fatal effects. Number five, ticks. There are two types of ticks that can be found all throughout Massachusetts, the deer tick and the dog tick. Also known as black leg ticks, deer ticks are considered the most dangerous out of the two. These ticks can spread a host of diseases, such as Lyme disease. If you've ever lived in Massachusetts and taken walks through the woods in the spring and summer, chances are you've found a tick on yourself at one time or another. A good way to prevent tick bites is to check yourself, children, and pets before coming into the house. Check your legs, hair, arms, neck, and pretty much everywhere else. 
speak with a doctor if you develop a red ring on your body or some other sort of rash. If you experience symptoms such as fever, headache, fatigue, or sore muscles, then it's a good idea to see a doctor. Number six, mosquitoes. Mosquitoes in Massachusetts have the potential to carry some pretty nasty diseases, such as the West Nile disease. All around the world, mosquitoes are considered dangerous due to this very reason. They can carry many diseases that can cause serious harm to people and animals. In order to prevent any harm coming from a mosquito bite, be sure to stay up to date on any vaccinations you may need for where you live, and also apply high quality bug spray in the spring and summer seasons. Overall, Massachusetts is a beautiful state to live in with a lot to offer for the people living there. As long as you keep an eye out for these dangerous animals and know how not to interact with them, you should be fine. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Also, check out my online shop if you have the time. Thank you very much.